Hey John here. So this, I was no intentions of making a video on this, but I'm starting to slowly change my mind. So as you can see in here, there's some wheel weights. I don't know if you can see or not, it's pretty dark. Some wheel weights here. And uh, these are new rims. New rims and tires. I say new. They're a year old. Uh, but I've had this problem since they were brand new. It belonged to this truck here, which I bought brand new. And I, th those are the original uh, tires and rims, right? And so I put a lift kit on this and uh, did some moves and tires and rims, right? Uh, and the reason these don't look like they fit is just because they're stock and there's a lift kit. But So right from the get-go, when I bought these, uh, a week later, I go to, you know, on a highway. This only happens on a highway. The vehicle's shaking, right? Shaking to a point where I went over to New York. I only tr use this vehicle, by the way, just to tow a trailer and it's usually on a highway about twice a year this vehicle is uh, a 2022 and it's got 6,000 miles on it so I don't use it that often and when I do use it around town you do not notice anything wrong with this vehicle looks good doesn't have any problems get up on a highway start shaking right so that t told me it was like a you know in my in my head okay it's a wheel bounce so I brought it back maybe a week or two later um, maybe maybe a little more let's say within a month and uh, they re realigned they, they checked the alignment realigned it because it was a little off and then um, they rebalanced the tires right so some time goes by uh, I don't know several months maybe I don't know four or five months because I don't use this vehicle and the times that I do is just like I said local so the next time I use it I'm towing something to New Hampshire five hours away the vehicle's shaking again this is after the second time they balanced them so then I go back to them and, and say uh, maybe we should try tire uh, uh, balancing beads the beads that go inside your tire so I bought some beads and we tried that and I uh, within a week got up on a highway and it was it was it was not good so I bring it back and they decide well I don't think it has enough beads we put more beads in it and a couple of weeks go by I use it again get up on the highway and it actually made it worse I go back to him and he's saying okay what we should do is but I'll get you new tires all right, and I was like, "Wow, okay, new tires. That that, that that's maybe something's out around, right?" So these are brand new tires. They're about a week old, and uh, I know they don't look it, but they're about a week old. And um, I just today or yesterday got it up on the highway, and it's shaking, shaking so bad. I took a video with my cell phone in the mirror of this whole bed shaking, going down the road, shaking. Uh, the the truck is, you know, drivable. It's not like it's undrivable. But this is a brand new truck with 6,000 miles on it. Shouldn't shake at all, right? So, so then I'm all like, man, I, because it, I put a lift kit in it, I'm thinking we've been down this road, beads balanced. You know, we've done all this stuff to it, and this is now I'm closing in. It's over a year now. This was last year I bought the, the tires and rims, but because I don't use the truck that often, time goes by, and I and I uh, it's my mistake there. But so, anyways, today I put the stock rims and tires back on, took it up on the highway purposely to find out if it's maybe something else maybe it's not the tires and rims and i'll be damned it's the tires and uh, rims of the stock are like so smooth yeah now that i know it's it's how smooth it is with the uh stock tires it is pretty bad but i didn't think originally it was that bad i just again i thought it was just a aggressive tire or something anyways so now to get to a point here so this is old uh residue from from old wheel weights i say old you know when i last did it whenever that was this is actually one of the better tires but there's 14 ounces of weights on this tire every tire had it seems to me a, a, an absorbent amount of uh, weights but i'm not a tire guy so i don't know and this is actually like i said one of the better ones some of these weights start here right and then just go crooked now i don't know i'm not a tire guy i don't know if that's normal or not these seem kind of straight they're a little bit crooked, but um, the reason uh, I'm, cons I'm starting to get annoyed now is because the one wheel I just did, they actually had a ton of weights over dirt and um, old residue like this. They never cleaned this off, and they just put the old weights over it. So when I redid the, or, or put these originals back on, and I left the, the garage here, right, I saw this laying on the floor, right? There's four weights. That's a quarter. That's an ounce right there um, of weights. But you can see it. It's, it's not even sticky. It's just dirt. Now I'm at a point. I don't know what to do. I'm going to take and I've been cleaning these uh, tires and rims. This is, this is why I got the camera. So I, I've taken all the the uh, 
the weights off and, and got rid of all the glue, all the residue, clean the, the, the rim up, right? I'm going to go there tomorrow and I'm going to ask them what's next as far as it didn't rectify the problem, right? Uh, I still got to shake, but putting the stock tires on, it doesn't shake. What are they going to do about it? They're going to obviously have them rebalanced. I gotta, I've still got to take these off. Uh, all these weights and have them rebalanced just because uh, that's that's the least I'm gonna do right um, but I'm gonna see what they say about is it the rim because this company I'm dealing with town fair they don't have a road force uh, tire balancer or a way to find out if your tire or wheel is out of round like it could be defective so as I'm cleaning these rims right I got them all uh, basically to I'm gonna power wash them now but basically down to you know whatever but every single rim has these marks see how these little marks 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 so apparently it must be the machine to put them on but uh, those are gouges right again I don't know if this is normal I mean that's a gouge you can listen that's just that's just hideous that you know brand new rims they're it's not like they're destroyed or anything but it's like come on man I, I, I don't want to complain and act like that guy I'm getting a little irritated on they can't balance these. That's where I'm at. So let me power wash these up, take them to, uh, I got to see what the, the fellows say at Town Fair, and I'm probably not going to have them balance it again uh, because they, they just can't get it balanced. You know, and the car's shaking way too much. So well, let's pick it up tomorrow. Yeah, so I just picked up the tires uh, from a place that has a road force uh, unit. Uh, a Hunter Road Force unit, right? So, uh, again, y y this just looks better just because there's less weights, right? They're, they're, um, they're one ounce weights instead of the, the quarter ounce weights, which there's a couple quarter ounce weights up here. So I want to add these up. So the total ounces that Town Fair had on there uh, was, um, it, e it equated to 1.9 something 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 ounces uh, almost two, nearly two pounds So I'm going to add these up see, see if there's a difference and then go from there, but I'm also going to uh, throw a little uh, black spray paint on there and uh, Just to hide them a little bit, but uh, so one two three four five six ounces there seven ounces seven and a half All right, so the total ounces is uh, just a little less than than it was before uh, I was almost two pounds before. This is uh, 30 ounces, so there's uh, 60 ounces in a pound, so that's 32. So it's like a an ounce, uh, almost two ounces difference. So there's not much difference there, but it's odd that one one was eight and three quarters, one you know was ten, eight and a half, and there was one that was three. I think it was this one here. I'll put that on front. It's only three three ounces on uh, you know just the, just the quarter weights right there. Um, and the other thing is, you know, using using the bigger weights, it's you know, because if you had to put uh, one of them was ten ounces with those quarter weights, that's why I took up all that goddamn room. And I'm wondering if that makes a difference because you can't like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ounces uh, to to use the quarter quarter ounces. You know, it'd be like that, like you saw a massive plate. So I wonder if that makes a difference. I don't know. Um, I do see markings on a tire uh, for, uh, there's one there, so I guess uh, one's 17, one's 18, uh, you know, the marking there, I don't know what it's for, I guess for the uh, road force, the amount of pounds or something, but anyways, let's throw these on and see how they uh, react, hopefully we got this licked, yeah, uh, you know, just just forget about the, the bigger weights, they actually you know, are in line instead of, you know, the the way they did it. You know, they they start here and it, and it ends up at an angle. It's just like, you know, and you saw them put them over the dirt and stuff. Of course, I cleaned this up and I just painted, you know, the the uh, silver ones uh, just so it looked better. But that's where we're at. Let's go. Uh, let's put them on the on the truck and uh, get these stock ones off and put the put the big fellas on there and go for a ride. Yeah, so I just got back. Uh, so the the bed shaking. That went away, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to equate to, because it's not quite as smooth as the original stock tires and rims, uh, but I'm just going to equate that to a more aggressive tire. You know, it's a way bigger tire and uh, wider, and the tread is way more aggressive. So uh, the part I was concerned about was the vibrating. 
you know, the, the going down a road when you could watch the, the, the bed of your truck shake. That was what I was concerned with. That's gone. And uh, there's no, no visible, you know, your pants aren't shaking anymore, so that's good. So anyways, if you know somebody with a, um, a hunter, not know somebody, if you know a garage with a, a hunter uh, road force, and they actually know how to use the machine, or as far as, you know, whether, because some places, like I said before, like Firestone, they had a hunter road force unit, but they don't run the software. They use it basically as a, a regular wheel balancer, so... Uh, that ain't gonna help it wouldn't help me in this case so did find a place not too far from here and how you do that is go to hunter uh the website for hunter uh you know the the wheel balancers and uh there's a spot down there in, in their page somewhere that says um you know you plug in your zip code and it'll show you the places that have a hunter road force wheel balancer that's how i found it It was only a couple miles away i didn't even know the place existed actually it's a private uh you know one-off it's not a chain it's you know the guys uh a bunch of old guys there i say old guys they're you know it, it looks like the place has been there a long time and they do everything their motto is everything from i think it was wheelbarrows to track trailers and they they, they had uh, farm equipment there so they they specialize in tires uh and they did have a road balancer uh, i mean a uh, road force balancer that uh that did the trick for me so anyways that's all i got thanks for watching see you next time yeah